David say good morning to the whole world. Good morning. Or good Mom. night. Good night. Mom. Good night. Making you breakfast. Oh. Are you so happy? Hi, Cooper. Guys, we got twins. We got a two in one egg. I got you a protein bar too. Thanks. Can you give me hot sauce? Oh, yes, sir. Thanks. <laughs> Arm over. See you later. Come on. Come on. No, you do better than this. Come on, you do better than this. Whoa. Let's come back. Let's go. There you go. Good job. Good job, Emmett. <gasps> Say good morning, guys. Say good morning, guys. Good morning, welcome to today's vlog. Happy Sunday. We just got done having some breakfast and playtime with dad before he went to sleep. And little boy's getting ready to eat. But it is a snowy, cold Sunday. And I am staying in my pajamas all day long. You're gonna stay in yours too. We just put some fresh ones on. Third outfits in the past, mm, like, Eight hours because he had two outfit changes last night he is four months old today can you believe it you're four months old crazy 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 so we got to get his pictures taken but we're just gonna relax because we had a super you are pulling mama's hair we had a super busy day yesterday we went to one of my best friends baby sprinkles and then David and I went and looked at new vehicles and we're actually gonna go get a new car tomorrow. So, we were out pretty much all day, huh? Yeah, so we're just hanging out and relaxing today, taking it easy and snuggling and getting back on schedule because you were off schedule. Yes, you were. And you go to the doctor tomorrow and you gotta go see the doctor and get your shots because you're a big boy. You're four months old, huh? Did you have a good nap? Emmett's hanging out down here in his crib while I straighten up his nursery just a little bit. I decided to be semi-productive today and I did end up putting on some makeup and I'm probably gonna film um, a video or two just so I can have something to go up later this week and hopefully he'll be good for it but I was putting some stuff away and I wanted to show you guys a couple vlogs ago I ordered some new bibs off of Amazon and I just wanted to show them to you I do absolutely love them so if you are looking for some droll bibs I do recommend these. I'll link them down below um, from the places that I ordered them off Amazon. So I'll just show them. This isn't all of them. One of them was like a pack of eight and one of them was a pack of ten, I think. But the quality is awesome. They've been washed a couple times now and they're super absorbent. So if you need some good drool bibs, I recommend these. And I will show you guys what they look like. This is the first brand, and I don't know if it's going to focus. There we go. But this is what they look like, and they're super soft. And then, like, this is almost like a resistance, a resistant fabric. Like, I don't know. It's like stuff would slide off it, I feel like. And then it came in, like, a bunch of different designs. And then these are the second um, ones that I got and I like these these have like an extra little lip right here I wonder if these do too. I guess these do too um, This one's a little bit bigger 
But this pack came in like gray, black, white, like all the basic colors, which I like because he can wear them pretty much with anything. And uh, let's see if this can focus. That's the brand of that one. So I'll link both of those down below, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. Because I know some of you were asking about if I liked the bibs, and I do. Hi. Well, hello. Are you supermaning? Now you roll back over. You did that by yourself. Wow. Way to go. Emmett just woke up from his nap. He is on his play mat. And I just wanted to quickly show you guys what I've been working on while he was napping. Yes, I'm literally still in my pajamas. But I'm going through the bin of clothes that I have and organizing it by size and what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of. So this is what the situation is looking like. So I've got it all organized um, as of now. So I've got like zero to three month newborn these are three month keep um but newborn zero to three three month pants these are get rid of and these are all outfits put together these are get rid of um and then this stack is get rid of that i haven't folded yet and then these are all of his sleepers size um, newborn all the way to three to six months in some of them. And then I have newborn onesies. Uh, these are all three month onesies. So I did, and then this is like thick winter stuff kind of. So now I need to get this stuff put into this bag and seal it up and then i have his sweet little personalized outfits too i mean i don't know what i'm ever going to do with these but they're just so sweet that i have to keep them 100 percent. but yeah that is what i have been working on while emmett napped he took a really really good nap for me he napped for um almost an hour if not just over an hour and I am really considering putting him in his crib tonight to sleep because I feel like he is, he is starting to wake up easier and easier. Like with the four month sleep regression, that's kind of what the whole idea behind it is, is that they are more alert and they want more attention and they just want to like hang out with you. So um, when they get into light sleep, they can wake up really easily and then they just want to see you basically and hang out with you. And that's why the four month sleep regression happens around that time. Um, so he, over the past, I would say couple weeks, he has like slowly been starting to wake up just a little bit earlier and earlier and earlier. Um, so he was sleeping until like 4.30 or 5 a.m. and sometimes it was even like 5.30. And then he started to go backwards. So I mean, it would be like four and then 3.30 and then three, and then 2.30. Um, and then last night he woke up at 12.30.
And then he like goes back to sleep for several hours. So it's not like he's waking up and then waking up every hour or two hours. Um, sometimes he does that. Like if he wakes up at 2.30, he'll be up again between 4.30 and 5 and then so on. Um, but last night he woke up at 12.30 and that is so unlike him. And he went back to sleep until 4.30 I think. But still like for him to get up and I nursed him at 12.30. That's just, he hasn't done that in like two months if not longer than that. So we definitely think he's teething. Um, he's been drooling since two months and he's been chomping and chewing on his hands and anything else he can get in his mouth. I mean, aggressively <laughs> for like the past couple weeks. Um, been chewing on his hand for probably about a month, but like chomping aggressively for a couple weeks. And he looks like he has a couple spots that could be like potential teeth. And I know they can do this for months before any teeth actually show up but I think that that has been bothering him and then paired with easily waking up and the sleep regression, he's not sleeping as good as he was. And our bed like squeaks every time he moves. So if we like roll over or if I get up out of bed to pump or go to the bathroom or anything, he's like getting in light sleep and like stirring. So I think that I might try to move him to his crib tonight. I'm highly considering it. And I just think he might sleep better with no distractions um, and no sounds that can wake him up. So I might be attempting that. I'll keep you guys posted if I do or not, but that is, it's an idea. I just finished sterilizing all of the goods. I used um, this Medela Quick Clean sterilizing bag. You can use this up to like 20 times, I think. So I used that and then I also boiled water and sterilized like my Komatomo bottles and then all four of my hackas. So yeah, that's done. One thing checked off the list. I just stripped the living room apart, the kitchen stripped apart too. But I vacuumed the rug and all of the cushions. Doing a little deep cleaning. My little boy hangs out over here. Who is that? That's Emmett. But yeah, we actually got a new living room rug, so I need to roll this up when David wakes up and we're gonna be getting rid of it and we got one that looks like this. So I don't know if this is gonna stay here, but I just have it here for now. And then I moved our kitchen table to turn this way. I... Oh, he's crying. Are you crying? Are you crying, little boy? Hmm? Are you crying? You ready to eat? <gasps> okay, let's eat. Um, anyways, what I was saying is I turned our kitchen table this way. So, I need to clean it off still and I have everything out all over the kitchen that I need to put away because I was re reorganizing but I moved our coffee maker over here because like I said in one of my previous vlogs this is going to be like the coffee bar it's obviously not going to be on top of the mini fridge but I just moved it for now oh, and then look at this disaster I gotta clean up but I'm going to feed Emmett and then I'll get all of this put back together it has been a long day i have literally been cleaning all day long and i am still in my pajamas and robe i have not changed emmett has not changed we've had the epitome of a not lazy because i cleaned a lot <laughs> sunday huh so you played and slept a lot huh anyways i redid a lot in the house today it was like a redo day so in the kitchen i this is our new rug that in the kitchen i moved our table over here i still need to redo that yes it still says i'm 38 weeks pregnant <laughs> but i moved that that way moved our coffee maker and stuff over there and then just like cleaned up the table a little bit 
I sanitized all of our bottles and everything today too. Sterilized. And then we sold our rug. So that's rolled up ready to go. And then I have a big rug that looks just like that white one coming over here. And I know I'm so ballsy that I'm putting a white rug with a dog and a baby that will be a toddler. But it's an indoor outdoor rug and it's supposed to be like super durable. So I can take it outside and hose it down if I need to. So yeah, everything is super clean. I organized all of Emmett's clothes. I showed you guys that earlier. I never did get around to actually putting it in the bag and sealing it up and vacuum sealing it. So that is left for me to do um, maybe sometime this week. David might actually end up doing it. I had to go let Cooper in and this lighting in here is awful. It's the green wall. Anyways, one of the other big things I did is I got Emmett's <laughs> room all ready for him to sleep in here tonight we're gonna try and do his first long stretch in his nursery so i've got his humidifier going his monitors moved in here his sound machine and then he we actually have swaddles that are exactly the same as what he's swaddled in in the snoo every night it's just it doesn't um connect to it doesn't have like the wings to connect to the snoo so he naps with these so he does really well with them so we're gonna try that inside of his dog tot tonight and his monitors there humidifier sound machine so we're gonna get ready for bed see we're gonna get ready for bed you want to tell him Are you gonna do so good tonight? Wow. You're just a talkative. I'm gonna get him in the bath, get him ready for bed, and get him put down. Um, and yeah, make sure you guys subscribe and tune in because I'm going to be vlogging tomorrow. Dave and I are gonna go pick up our new car. <laughs> So I'm gonna vlog and Emmett has his four month appointment tomorrow too. So I'll be sure to update you guys on how the night went. Hopefully it goes well, fingers crossed. I think he's gonna do really good in here. Um, he just won't have any kind of distractions. So we will see, I will keep you posted. Make sure you guys subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you can go follow me over on Instagram to stay up to date with us. And we'll see you in our next video. Thanks for watching.